I'm Scott Xavier. I'm a forensic mentalist. Halfway between magician and psychic, there's something totally different. I tour as an entertainer specializing in mind reading at corporations, colleges, and private parties across the world. I'm an artist painting the image of the psychic on the canvas that is your mind. This is a behind the scenes glimpse of life on the road. The best reactions happen here in the streets. Welcome to the head trip. doing that right now watch we're gonna do it this way so you can see one time what slowly the you need a bag? Do, you have a, do you have a magnet in here <laughs> it's a rolex i wouldn't put a magnet anywhere near it true that's a good idea and what's your name nina oh my gosh that's my sister amy's name nina hold open your hand palm up did you hear that yes i did watch we're gonna lay it right here okay and as i rub it you're gonna see it bending upwards more and more what and more. what Oh my god. How? A little gentle rubbing. See it bending upwards? What the heck? That's so weird. Am I burning hurt really bad? Okay. You weren't too, you weren't too bothered by that. Oh, you're from LA. This happens all the time. Okay. <laughs> the burning and hurting. I want you to imagine it twisting. You feel a twist? Sure. Nobody's going to believe you. Close your eyes. Use your imagination. Okay. Seriously, feel it twisting. Did you feel it twist? Yes, I felt it twist. Open your eyes. I never once touched it. Open your hand. Look. Open. Oh. Oh my gosh. All right, Jen. I want you to think of the name of somebody that you love. Somebody who's not here. Get a random name in your mind. Now get rid of that name. Push it to the side. Now think of another completely random person. You got one? Yeah. Now forget that one. Okay. Now settle on a name. Okay. You got it? Yeah. See this name in your mind right now? Yeah. See the first letter? Yeah. Imagine a spotlight going over this first letter as it gets brighter and brighter. Add more depth and detail to this. It's a B, isn't it? Yeah. Now take this B, move it somewhere else. Ew. <laughs> you? <laughs> I said somebody you love and you just said you. That's awkward. All right, take this B, move it somewhere else in the world. Okay. Take another letter, move it to the front. Jump them up. Take that B, move it. Take another letter. You went by an R. You also saw an N and a D. Rethink of Brandon. Yeah. What? That's fucking weird. There's no. You know what's way. crazy? Bring him out right now. No, there's not. Yeah, I'm just kidding. That would've been awesome. Why am I thinking of the name Jack? <laughs> Is that the name? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm so lost. So you were thinking Jack? Yeah. Oh, that's what I was focusing. On. Okay. Oh, I'm excited. Um, yeah. Mine's a weirdo. <laughs> Anna, I want you to think of your first pet's name. Yeah. You got it? Yeah. I'm getting a letter. It's not even a full name. Yeah. Are you thinking Q? Yeah, actually. Did you have a dog named P and R? And no, <laughs> no. It would have been awesome, though. No, yeah, his name was, it was also James Bond, like, character. Oh, yes. Are you thinking of Justin? Oh, my God. This is so crazy. <laughs> Wait, let me ask. I can't believe that. <laughs> you do it. That's insane. Oh my god. All right, Renee, we've got a lemon here. No trap doors, no hidden compartments. It's a normal lemon. Why don't you take a look at that? And uh, might be a little sticky, but pretty normal, right? Yeah. I want you to print your name on there. My name? Yeah, that way I can't swap it out. Okay. That way you're in control of the lemon the whole time. Renee. N E. Oh yeah, no, that's my sister Amy's name. That's crazy. Okay. We'll get rid of the Sharpie. Okay. And I'm going to give this to you. You're going to hold on to this the whole time. Okay. And what's your name? Keith. Keith, do you have a dollar bill on you? You do. You had it already ready. Just so they know. Yeah. Normal dollar. I want you to take it. I want you to print your name on there. 
<laughs> and now I am. I also want you to print your credit card number and the three digits secure. I'm just kidding. You <laughs> <laughs> cheated my credit card already. <laughs> We got rid of that, and I will take the dollar bill. What we're going to do is we're going to take the dollar bill, and here we go for you guys. So if we give it a quick pull, another quick pull, another pull, a quick squeeze, a quick blow, heaven or death since prison, <laughs> becomes something a little bit more interesting, something a little bit more fun, something a little bit more valuable. It becomes 100 US dollars. Look at that. And you can have it. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the show's free. <laughs> that was pretty amazing. You say, right. wait, 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 you have the, the bill, or the, the lemon, right? Yes. They say money doesn't grow on trees because it grows in them. And we're going to get a little bit closer. How's the show so far? Complaint department? Watch. We cut deep within the pit of the lemon. Pass the seeds. Come here, Renee. Take a look at this. Mm -hmm. Nothing in there? I don't know. We'll see. Just look right there. You see something a little bit more valuable? Something a little bit more fun? Oh, hold on. Yeah. Do you have uh, do you have any latex gloves for you or anything? Watch for just. Okay, I don't want you to get your fingers all nasty, but look right here. Take it. Unfold it. Can you verify that is? His signed it should name. be key. All sticky. Past the seeds and pulp. There's something more. Show it to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um. You're going to raise one of them up right now. Okay. Let the other one fall naturally to the side. Just keep it right there. Keep it closed okay. so nobody can get to it. I'm going to take my hand and we're going to make it into a human voodoo doll. I'm going to make okay. a little X. Okay. Just like that. Yep. Voodoo says whatever I do to your likeness will happen to you if you believe. Did you feel anything? No. no. Women always tell me that. I don't know what that means. <laughs> oh. You know what's crazy? What? Look at your hand. No. Uh, no. 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 Oh my God. No. Stop. You know what's crazy? You didn't do that. Look at my hand. It's gone. You're kidding. No. Joke. <laughs> Joke. <laughs> Alright, I want you to think of the name of a random celebrity right now. Get it locked in your mind. That one? I got one. And a big word. Let's go for something seven letters or more. You got a big word? Yes. Okay, let's think of the big word right now. We're going to go with the first letter. Just see it in your mind. Okay. What was the first letter? O. As I thought. Okay, now you. I want you to see the last letter. Is it an S? It is. I'm getting a C too, and another C? Yes. Was your word occasions? It was. That's so weird. Oh my god. Okay, okay, That's wait, wait. Weird. Let's think of the celebrity. See the celebrity in your mind. Okay. Which celebrity were you thinking of? Scarlett Johansson? Good, yeah, because that's where I wrote down. Oh my god. That's wait, actually wait, wait, wait. crazy Hold on. though. When I told you to think of a celebrity at first, did you change your mind? Were you thinking of another one? It was. See this person's name in your mind. It was a man? It was. First letter a T? Yes. Were you thinking of Thomas Rhett? Yes. How the fuck? How the fuck? <laughs> no way. That's crazy. No way. No way. ScottXavier.com. Oh my god, that was fucking crazy. Alright, Sam, I want you to think of the name of somebody who's not here, so maybe somebody you love. Get it locked in your mind right now. You got one? Alright, now change your mind. We're gonna go crazy. I want you to just get rid of that one. Think of a second person. Okay. Got it? Yeah. Get rid of that person even. And then just settle in on one name. Okay. Got somebody in mind? Is this a sort of love interest? Look at that smirk. <laughs> Look at me. See the first letter of this name? Imagine a spotlight going over it. As it gets brighter and brighter, add more depth and detail to it. See this D coming into shape? 
Yeah. Take this D, move it somewhere else in the word. Take another letter, move it to the front, jumble them up. Take that D, move it. Take another letter, letter. We want by an A, we're gonna move the V. What do you think of David? Oh, stop, please. <laughs> see the first letter of your name. Okay. I see. Yeah. Take this C, move it somewhere else in the word. Take another letter, move it to the front. It's a male, isn't it? Yeah. What do you think of Christopher? Oh my god. Stop it! Stop oh my god. Stop it! You haven't told me the name of your future husband, have you? Nope. See his name in your mind. See the first letter and almost bring it to the front of your mind. Almost bring it to the front, lock it in there. See that? Is it a D? It is. Take this D, move it somewhere else in the board. Take another letter, move it to the front. Jumble it up. Take that D, move it. Take another letter. You want by an A, you're going to move the V. What do you think of David? Yep. You know what's crazy? <laughs> this is a boyfriend. Are you thinking Josh? <laughs> We're kind of going to turn you into a voodoo doll. We're going to do something that I used to do with my sister on long trips in the car. In fact, we're going to have your friend videotape this. Do you have a cell, a cell phone with a video camera? So that you can see what happens because you're not going to believe it. Okay. Have you ever played the game I'm Not Touching You where you go like this? Do you have any brothers or sisters? Yeah. We're going to try doing that right now. It's going to get crazy. Camera on? Okay. So if I touch you here, you're going to raise that part of the body and then let it go down. Okay. If I do it on this side, you're going to do that here for me so that I can actually... Yeah, there we go. So if I go like that, you would raise your arm up again, right? Okay. If I do that... Got it. Okay. Now, close your eyes. We're going to just try it again. Okay. Open your eyes. I didn't touch you probably the last five times. You're not gonna believe it here. Let's see this. Didn't touch you. Wait, what? What? You were a human voodoo doll. <laughs> That's so weird. I lifted my hand for no reason. What was that? I don't like that. Have you ever heard of psychics who can metal? Yeah, 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 yeah. Mentally? Yes.
think you're, what's his name, Jason Momoa? Aquaman, from the DC World. Say stop. Stop. Got it? Yeah. Think of the color, red or black. See it in your mind, don't tell me. I'm gonna say judging from you, I'm gonna go definitely a warm person, red person, all right? Yep. Okay, if I were you, I would go, I think I have it. Hold open your hand flat. What was the card you merely saw, dude? Four hearts? What was it? What the You were thinking of a celebrity in the back of your mind, right? You got a celebrity in your mind? Did their name start with an C? Is that where I got it from? Were you thinking of Charles Barkley? Who were you thinking of? Channing Tatum. Good, because that's what I wrote down. <gasps> no way! Oh my god. What? Raise one of your fists up right now. Let the other one fall naturally to the side. That's how you go down. Just watch, I'm going to make a little X. Just like that for my last name, Xavier. Let's see if the camera can see it. We're gonna see if, if you believe in voodoo, this should happen. If you don't, nothing should. Did you feel anything? Oh, no. Women always tell me that, I don't know what it means. Open your hand, look what happened. <laughs> no. You know what's crazy? Look at my hand. No. Turn the camera. No. Yo. We're gonna try some mind reading. We are going to start off first because you wanted more mind reading. So we're gonna try something very simple. Okay. I've got a ring here, some costume jewelry. I want you to take it now, place it behind your back right now. Place it in one of your hands. Okay. Place both hands in front of you, close like this. So I don't know what hand it's in. Okay, now I'm gonna ask you, is it in this hand? And each time I do, I want you to say yes, whether you're lying or telling the truth. Is in this hand, say yes. Yeah. Is in this hand, say yes. Yeah. You have a horrible telling. This is how I know with mind reading, this is how I do it. Your nose is pointing to one hand. I will bet you a hundred dollars it's in this hand. No! Your nose. You're fucking lying! Your nose is pointing. Oh. I want to do that next. Okay, so place a ring in one of your hands again. Place both hands in front of you. Each time say yes again. Is in this hand? Yeah. Is in this hand? Yeah. Now the question is, are you a nice person? Most nice people put it in the opposite hand, ball busters. Keep it in the same hand. I can tell why that's smart. It's still in the same hand. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Yeah, wait, I want to do it. Place behind your back. I love when women tell me that. Place behind your back. Place it in one of your hands, both hands in front of you. No pressure. We'll put the Rolex on it this time. You got a Rolex, dude. Damn. All right. Each time say yes. Is in this hand? Yeah. Is in this hand? Yeah. Cross your hands in front of you. Do you notice which hand goes to the bottom? The one she's trying to hide the most. I'll bet you it's in that hand. Yes, oh. I There's no way. That's so funny. You know, it's crazy to watch. You can even have it. I'm just kidding, it's right here. Oh. We're gonna try something weird. Just think of a random name right now. That one? Could be a boyfriend, a love, anything. Just a random name. That one? Mm -hmm. Now change your mind. Okay. Now change your mind again and settle on one name. That one? Mm -hmm. Yes. This is a pet's name, am I correct? Correct. It's crazy. Uh, see the first letter in your mind? Imagine the spotlight going over this first letter. It gets brighter and brighter. Add more depth and detail to this O. Yes? Yes. <laughs> Take this O over somewhere else in the word. Take another letter. Was this a cat? No. Well, then this is a weird name for a dog. Is it Odie? It is Odie! <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. 
Check this bike out. And you're voting. You're gonna hold on to this back part. Harry. I want you to imagine any card in your mind. Get it? Don't pick a face card. They're way too easy. Really challenge me. Now get rid of that. Think of another card. So you have a card that you weren't even thinking of originally. Completely random. You've never told me, right? What card is it? Did I tell you? Yeah. Five of clubs. Is there any reason you would pick the five of clubs? No. Just watch. <laughs> we go through. You can see the cards are all facing down. But before we started, there's one card face down. Harry, flip it over. No. <laughs> Show me that card, Bro. Harry. Yeah. Bro. Come on now. That's not fair. That's not fair. There was a kid who was on Oprah, lost his vision due to cancer. Even though his eyes were surgically removed from their sockets, he could detect objects using echolocation. He'd walk up to them and go, make this high pitching sound. It was crazy, but he could feel it using human echolocation. We're going to try duplicating that right now. You guys think we can do it? Yeah. So we have Danielle and Jess, right? Yep. Didn't forget your names. Uh, Jess, do you have a bill of some denomination? Yes, we do. I'm going to ask you to print your name on there. Find a Sharpie for you. You should probably have all this stuff ready. Here you go. Print your name on there. And your phone number and the date your boyfriend's out of town. Just kidding. Your name's not important. Your phone number is. Jeez. <laughs> and uh, Danielle, say stop. Stop. Got it. Can you remember it? Yes. <laughs> Take a look at it, got it? And say, judging from you, you go, definitely a warm person. What card, am I right? No. No? We'll get back to you in a second. And we're going to do something else, too. There's a balloon down there, so once I'm blindfolded, I want you to pass the balloon between the two of you. I'll let you know when. But you're going to play a game of hot potato and just pass the balloon between the two of you. Does that make sense? Yep. Mm -hmm. Excellent. We're going to take the duct tape. And we're going to try creating, rather than gouging out my eyes uh, or getting cancer, we're just going to eliminate my vision with duct tape. Can't see through it, can you? Nope. How about you through that side, no? No. Take a piece, we'll slap it here. And take another piece. Slap it here. And we'll give you a piece. Wind is killer today. Slap it here. It's crazy how once we started filming, it's got like 20 degrees cooler on the shore. And you're going to hold on to that for me, please. All right. So we're going to take a piece of duct tape. I'm going to slam it into my ocular cavity as such. If you're wondering why I'm doing this, I want you to close your eyelid. Place your finger on your eyelid. With the slightest bit of pressure, you can't open up your eyelid. It's impossible because your eyelid has no muscle attached to it. Can I have your piece of duct tape, Jess? Jess, we're going to slap it over all of this. And Danielle, can I have your piece of duct tape? Most people who have had pinatas know that you can see down your nose, so we're going to eliminate my nose. Can I have the duct tape, please? Thank you. You're welcome. We're just going to completely eliminate everything. Let's see. We can find every possible leakage of light. Yep, completely sealed. Alright, can you place that bill inside my hand so that the president is looking at you the same way that I am? Okay. So, if I unfold it, I probably should have said unfold it. Is he looking at you the same way that I am? Yes. So if I fold it in half, can you see the serial number towards the bottom? Yes. Is it an F? Yes. 4-4? Four, four? Yes. 2-2? Two, two. Yes. 0-1? Yes. 9-1? Yes. And a D? Yes. It's crazy. I want you to hold on to that for one second. Okay. Danielle, you selected a playing card, right? Yes. When we think of things, I want you to lay your hand inside of my hand like that. Our bodies give off air, so we're going to try and detect it using sleight of nose. A trick my dog taught me. I have an intelligent dog. 
<laughs> All right, now you're gonna grab that balloon and you're gonna pass it between the two of you. Take a step back. Let it go for five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Whoever has it, hold it between your hands like this. I'm gonna try using echolocation. Complaint department of the show. How's the show going so far? Good. <laughs> Pretty good. I have a knife. You probably don't no, want to mess with me. Not really good. Judging from... Got it. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Otherwise, something else popped and that would have been creepy. Alright. Ah, uh, the part every sick person has been waiting for. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, my God. As a forensic mentalist, sometimes you have to use everyday objects, like rings, actually alter reality. You just squeeze them and concentrate. You can see something unusual happen. Imagine the magic and the feeling of excitement as three rings lock together at your next event. But of course, you could go home like this, but who would ever want to do that? So if we take them and you just rub them gently, you get one, two, and of course three.